Governor, great to be here with you and your vision. 60 people the first time out and now uh, 600, over 600 people attending this great event. It's a great time to get to know each other, to create Hojo and to maintain that throughout your administration and also Lieutenant Governor Cox. Thank you for that kind word to our people and using the Hojo as a platform for your presentation. And also Vice President Jonathan Nez, uh, he's going to join me up here and uh, from Shanto, Arizona, in AU. I'll tell you what, you know, the Lieutenant Governor and uh, Vice President, they went from that floor over here and we're using the stairs over here. So <laughs> but that's wonderful. Thank you. And of course, the, uh, the Council Delegates, Speaker Bates, and uh, Council Delegates. And also, uh, chapter officials, can you stand up please? Chapter officials, Anna, these are all from the Utah area. And uh, school board members, hi, and our school board members over here, thank you. Great to have everyone here. And I tell you, I know you guys are excited about the time that we will have together today, tomorrow, and we're looking forward to it. So, uh, the Hojo is a great word it's um it's a word that we need all of us need the world needs because it's a coming up together maintaining balance it is being able to sit at the table drink coffee and discuss critical issues and to maintain hojon some of the issues that we're going to bring forward today for example is that hojon for our people is all about economic development infrastructure and a lot of the things that we need school bus routes, uh, serving our veterans, is that a lot of these of our people miss out on the whole concept of Hojo. And for example, the Navajo Nation purchased the Rocky Mountain Power and is going through the process of approval, waiting for the Public Service Commission to say yes to us. And by their approval, we will be able to serve or provide electricity to over 300 of our Navajo homes families on the, on the Utah side. So we're looking forward to that, Governor. Thank you. And also, the state of Utah, I commend them, the governor, staff, the people, the attorneys, is that you are demonstrating to the rest of the seven states that have been allocated water, that you can sit at the table without going through court, years of litigation, and agree on water settlement. And so I, I just, I was just uh, really amazed that the governor, the legislators here in the state came up with the, uh, with the, uh, with a proclamation, a resolution uh, that where they agreed together that they would, uh, and that they would really help Navajo Nation come up with their water settlement. For example, there are key elements within this resolution that they signed. One is that Navajos will be provided drinking water. You know, that is hojo. Because our people go across the nation hauling water all over the nation on the Utah side. Hojo, the creation of that, means providing drinking water to Navajo families on the Utah side. And that's what getting water and getting it settled, that's what it means. And also, the state's commitment to provide $8 million as a, as a fund to help provide uh, the water to our Navajo families on the Utah site. And the establishment of the Navajo Water Rights Settlement Fund. So we're looking forward to the Navajo Nation, the Navajo people, the Navajo leaders, working together with council, with the office of the president, with Utah leaders and with Utah's concerned citizen to get this water settled. Because we need to get water to our homes, our families, we need it desperately. So I plead with you, the state, the governor, to make it happen. Thank you. And then Dr. Koroshin and I, Jonathan, and we talk about Hojo. Thank you, uh, President Otto, uh, Governor Herbert. 
Lieutenant Governor Cox, and everyone here today, good morning. It is truly awakening of a new dawn on the Navajo Nation. Many of us know that that's the prayer. We end up with prayer. So, and then for the governor, lieutenant governor, appreciate your advocacy. We, uh, we, we thank you for the invitation to this uh, 2015 uh, Governor's Day of American Summit. And we uh, also say thank you and welcome to our friends, family, and relatives. A couple of things I'd like to, to mention. But most importantly, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, my Nelly here is a golfer too. So anytime you need another partner, uh, rest of the game is a pretty good golfer. Uh, I took time out, so she needs bed does and she came with me. I took time out from a run across the Navajo Nation called Running for a Stronger and Healthier Navajo Nation. God, I'm playing this morning to get here and be with each and every one of you today. I'll be back on the plane to catch the folks in the Mexican water. It's over a 500 mile run throughout the Navajo Nation. Manali and I have always advocated for healthy living and eating right and taking care of yourself. So the message to the young people here, to everyone in the audience, you know, take care of yourself, stay active and, stay, uh, and be healthy. And we, uh, the runners wanted to say, uh, to, to both of you as well and the, the, your, your team. So we, we appreciate uh, this the, the government to government relationship and our partnership with the state of Utah Governor. And as you know, I used to be the councilman from uh, from the Navajo Mound, Ojeito, Shanto, and Sapikin area, two chapters in Utah. And we appreciate uh, the work that you all have been done. One, one of the works that, that, that we've been doing is the, the route from uh, Navajo Mountain to Oljeto, the back way. So, you know, those are transportation issues that we want to continue to highlight. And one of the other things is to Utah, the, the, the famous Navajo Utah uh, Trust Fund. You know, and I think a lot of uh, our communities here uh, have the capacity and the mechanism to, you know, to take care of their funds. And if we could move some of those dollars into the local community, we do have a law called the Governance certification uh, that local governments act title 26 that has the capacity for our communities to have their own financial capabilities so we're looking forward to that partnership and we appreciate uh, your advocacy as well the other thing i'm going to leave you with uh, mr governor and the team here in the state of utah is a cabinet level um, indian uh, department or even a division for all the tribes within the state of Utah. I know we need that advocacy at the state level. Mm -hmm. and we, we want to be challenge not just the state of Utah, but all three states within the Navajo Nation, their, their state governors, all, as well as their senators and, and legislators there. So we look forward to our continued partnership. I'd like to say thank you to my president, our president, Russell Begay. You know, his advocacy of bringing some of our young professionals back home to lead this great Navajo Nation of ours. Let's give him a round of applause. We have some great people that came back home. They took a pay cut, but they wanted their heart was there to come back to the Navajo Nation. So I really commend you. So thank you very much. Thank you. And Shanto is a great town. Come over and take a look at it. And that's where uh, our vice president is from. But also talking about Hojo, one of the things that as a nation, when we signed the Treaty of 1868, it was nation to nation. That was how we were recognized by being a treaty tribe. And being such, there are federal funds that come to the three states. The three states have their own policies, procedures, and so we end up having to deal with policies and procedures in three different states in three different ways. And they're not all the same. 
And so we are working very hard. We ask the support of the state of Utah that Navajo Nation receive all these funds, whether it's for veterans or whether it's for housing or health or any our Medicaid that's coming, that we want to assume total control, direct funding from the federal government rather than having to go through Utah or Arizona or New Mexico because Navajo Nation is very sophisticated. We have the infrastructure, the, the capacity to handle those funds. So as, uh, as a nation, we were asking the state of Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico for Navajo Nation to receive those federal dollars directly. And we are doing that already with the federal highway uh, funds that we get uh, to, to maintain our roads. And also, we need to provide an ongoing government-to-government -government discussion on critical needs of Utah Navajos with, for example, the, 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 the roads, the, the road at 162 coming from Montezuma Creek to Anna. That needs, that's a state highway, that needs to be addressed. There's a hole in the road that they fill with sand. That needs to be fixed. And I ask uh, UDOT to really get there and see what is going on with that road, that stretch of road, make it a priority and let's give, let's make a good road there for our Navajo communities that travel back and forth. And also in the area of emergency preparedness, redistricting, tourism, economic development, all of those things. And also, of course, uh, we just created the, the Bears Ears Tribal Coalition. It's a coalition of tribes, never happened before. Just to look at those issues, the 1.9 million acre land, which is historical, cultural, religious uh, uh, significance to us, to the tribes are located not only in Utah, but it impacts tribes in Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. And so we're asking the governor, uh, Governor uh, Herbert and, uh, and uh, Lieutenant Governor and staff out there, the, uh, the, the workers here in Utah, to really acknowledge and help the, the Bears Ears Tribal Coalition, uh, the newly formed organization. And also, uh, this coming September, uh, Lieutenant uh, Governor and Governor Herbert, uh, we have a great fair over there in Bluff, Utah. And we invite you to come on Saturday after the parade, I'd like for us to sit down, do a roundtable discussion with chapter leaders, with uh, Navajos of Utah, and just come and sit down with us and let us drink coffee, maybe mutton stew, fry bread, and uh, talk about healthy living. Uh, but uh, fry bread and those types of things, we'll make it uh, sugar-free fry bread or something like that. And, uh, but uh, we'll make sure that we cook it in uh, olive oil. I'm not sure how you make it healthy, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so come and uh, meet with us uh, during the, uh, right after the parade on that Saturday and sit down with us at the end of chapter and, and let's just have a really good uh, sit down discussion with our people at the chapter level um, and council delegates uh, that are in the area and uh, so we invite you to come. And so Navajo Nation stands ready to work hand in hand with the office of the governor to improve the lives of our people tribal communities throughout the great state of Utah. And thank you for the opportunity just to come and address this distinguished body of state and tribal leaders. God bless you.